All right, hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is going to be a relatively quick tutorial of just the general features of Google Classroom. Um, if you feel like you don't really have a solid hold on what you can do with it and how to use it, um, this, this will just give you a pretty brief, basic overview of where to find certain things and what certain things exist within Google Classroom. So you can see here on my homepage, I've got classes that I'm teaching and classes that I'm a part of. Um, but it's, you know, what they look like here is pretty similar for everybody. Um, the first thing I want you guys to notice is that it tells you right here in this white space of each class, what is upcoming that needs to be completed. So I know a lot of you guys are feeling really overwhelmed with emails and there's so much information and you're going back to emails saying, okay, what was this? When did I need to get this done? What, what else? What else? What else? Well, if you just go to your classroom homepage, it tells you exactly what you need to get done next for each class right here under the title of that class. You don't even have to go into the classroom to know what you need to get done. Um, so for example, I have white space here. That means I'm finished. I have nothing to get done for this class. So I can like breathe a sigh of relief and move on to the next class where I need to get stuff done. Okay. Um, next, these three bars over here, if you click on this, it's giving you just another way to navigate through to the different classes. Um, right here, you have a calendar. So you can click on your calendar and it's gonna show you, again, a more concise view of all the different things that you have upcoming, and what needs to be done and when it's due. You can go to, I'm gonna show you what it looks like for classes that I'm enrolled in as a student. You can use this to-do list tab that is also gonna show you what needs to be done, but it's gonna do it in list form. So you kind of know, like if you um, only have a few minutes and you're like, okay, what do I need to get done right now? You do that thing on top. You know what's due um, most recently. You can also see what have I already finished. <laughs> Apparently I've not been getting my work done and I have nothing in the finish tab, but it would show you what have I already done? What have I, what do I still need to do? Um, maybe my teacher will show me. Okay, so my version of what do I need to do? This is what I need to do. I need to look at these things. What have I finished? So, oh, wow. Anyway, um, so yeah, so the to-do and the calendar are also ways of just kind of concisely looking at a short list of what do I need to get done? What's still out there that needs to be finished, okay? So, um, oops, did not mean to do that. We're not gonna worry about that right now. Let's go into Miss Salas's class. All right, so this is the homepage of her class looks the same for any class. We have three tabs up, up at the top, stream, classwork, people. Stream is everything, basically. Um, if you, if she just sent you a quick reminder, she typed up a reminder, it wasn't an assignment, it was just some information that she needed to give out, it would be here on this stream tab, like this, in case the link to the documentary doesn't work, here's a copy. She just added a little piece of information to give to you guys. Um, it will show up here on the stream tab. If you want to say something to her or to the rest of the class, you have the option of adding something to the stream as well. You all, if you click here, you can also add um, files, right? If you want to, but if you just want to say something, you type, you click post. I'm not going to do that because you can't take it back once you posted something. All right. So that's that tab. All right. Um, also over here, it tells you, again, there are so many places where it's reminding you what you need to get done. And this one is really just telling you what's next, just like on that homepage where it showed you in the white space under class, what was the next thing that, get, need to, ugh, that you need to get done. This is also telling you that. All right, so let's move over to the classwork tab. Um, notice that there are only four things here, but there were a ton of things on this other tab. That's because this is everything, just comments, pieces of information. This classwork tab, this is only assignments. Here it's just the things that you need to get done, okay? So we'll click on our assignment. It opens up a little bit more. It opens up to not enough to give us the information about um, what is assigned. If there were something attached to it, like an assignment, it would show us that too. 
Um, so let's go in and view the assignment. All right, so it tells us what we need to do. Over here, we have the option to add or create um, a document to go with it. This looks a little bit different because there is a specific one attached here. You have the option to just mark your assignment as done. So if all your teacher wanted you to do was add a class comment, which you can do right here, and that was it, that wouldn't necessarily turn things in. You can just mark it as done right here. Um, so the other two things, class comment, this is a comment that would be shown to everyone. If you have a comment or a question specifically for your teacher, you can put it in private comments right here because this will only be shown to your teacher and you'd click that little arrow to post it so that that teacher would see it. And right here, you see how much each assignment is worth. Okay. All right, so up here, we can go back to the homepage for this class. And let's go back to classwork. Um, let's also notice, guys, that this shows us the newest thing on top and the oldest thing on bottom. So if you are a little bit behind on your work and you kind of need to go back and see, all right, I haven't done anything since the beginning of the week. Let me scroll down and see what else I need to do. The older stuff is going to be toward the bottom. Okay. All right. Up here, we have links to Google Meet, Google Calendar, and a class drive folder where you would find... Da, da, da. Here we go. Documents that you have submitted or that have been assigned to you that you still need to submit. Okay. So if you need to go back in and find some worksheet that you created, that she created, or some uh, something that you created, you can just go back into this documents folder to find it. But that you can see has opened up a new tab. So let's go back to our classroom tab. Um, meet. So if your teacher has set up a Google Meet room that is attached to your Google Classroom, um, that means that anytime you have a live class meeting, all you have to do is go to Google Classroom, click on this Meet tab, and you go into the live Meet. There's no need to find a class code or anything. It's just right here. You click on it, boom, takes you to the homepage uh, to join. Um, similarly, over here on the stream tab, we also have a link for that right there. So we click on that, same deal, takes us to join. And yeah, so here's, I mean, this tab is people, it's just gonna show you who's in the class and who is on the teacher end of the class. Um, you guys don't have a whole lot of need to use that. You do have the ability to email through this. So, um, maybe you might want to use it if you've forgotten your teacher's email. You can just go right here and it, A, it shows it to you right there, nsolace.cps.edu, or you can click it and just email your teacher from there if ever you need to. That might be the only reason you would need this particular tab. Um, but yeah, that's about it uh, for the overview of Google Classroom. If you want more specific instruction on any of the things that Google Classroom does, please look at some of the other tutorials that I created. The end. Bye-bye.